Before I begin my address, I'd like to say welcome back from your summer vacation. I'm sure everybody had a great summer. Mine was somewhat different than most. I wish I had an incredible journey to tell you about, but uh, I actually don't recommend my journey for any of you who are out here in the audience. Before I begin the address, uh, we have a short video that I'd like to show first, so bring down the house lights, we'll watch the videotape, and then I'll begin my address. I laugh after a great. Did everybody enjoy the videotape? Really, it's all about the students. Again, welcome back. Is everybody ready? All right. Let's show our appreciation to Gallaudet Technology Services for that great introductory video of our new undergraduate and graduate students. And thank you all for my personal welcome back from surgery. Your warmth and concern have been outstanding support for me, for Vicki, and for my other family members. Several individuals have told me that as a result of what happened to me, they have gone to see their physicians. So see your doctors.
I'm sure you all know the saying, you only have one chance to make a first impression. Well, because of my surgery and my time away from the office, I feel that I've been given a second chance to make a first impression. It's not often that a university president has time to consider and reconsider and reconsider our past, present, and our future. I've been given the time for a little R&R. For me, it means recuperation and reflection. But for me, there's also a third R, redirection. During the last few months, many of you have seen me walking across our beautiful Olmstead and Kendall Greens. A few months ago, it was a slow walk, but most recently, I am back to my normal pace. Because of my welcome to Gallaudet almost three years ago, I have never felt lost at Gallaudet. But if you saw me walking across campus more recently, you may have noticed I was lost in thought. I've been asking myself, where have we been? Where are we now? And where are we going? And finally, I was considering, how will we arrive there? Walking the campus, I see what is here today. But I also envision our university after we complete the implementation of our current plans. I see our future. Do you? You may see the Gallaudet of today or of yesterday. And those are fine images. But we all must see the Gallaudet of tomorrow as well. And what is the Gallaudet of tomorrow? Enrollment matters. My talk today has a rather ambiguous title. Yes, enrollment matters. And yes, enrollment matters. What a wonderful way to show off the bilingual nature of our university. I love the interplay of the words in both languages. In this case, it is the ambiguity of the English and the clarity of the ASL, both of which are beautiful. These usages of the word meaning information and meaning important reflect on the complex nature of enrollment. However, we all know the two usages of the word are more than just a play on words. We need to begin by recognizing that enrollment numbers are our key future concern. Why do we want to increase enrollment? What is our primary reason for increasing enrollment? Enrollment benefits students. We have a fundamental belief in Gallaudet. And we need to repeat that over and over. We have a fundamental belief in Gallaudet. We have a fundamental belief in the education and experience we provide. We have a fundamental belief in the benefits students obtain in a bilingual environment. And we have a fundamental belief that what we do matters. 
What is it that we provide? Simply put, a liberal arts education. Liberal arts can ensure a foundation for life for our graduates. Liberal arts can ensure the intellectual advancement of our graduates. And liberal arts can ensure the professional advancement of our graduates. These words should be familiar to all of us. They come from our mission statement. Every student who attends Gallaudet University benefits from our environment. We all know the importance of obtaining a university degree. We want deaf and hard of hearing individuals to face the complexities of the world today with a Gallaudet degree in hand. We want our graduates to have the knowledge and long-term preparedness that comes with our liberal arts education. Our graduates reinforce Gallaudet's impact on their lives. Let me share some quotes from alumni. Each statement reinforces the value of a liberal arts education. Each statement portends the preparation to face an ever-changing workplace. That is our primary reason for wanting students to enroll. We believe that what we do matters. It is de rigueur in the politics of today to ask whether successful people did it by themselves or with help. Let me ask that question in the context of students in our university environment. We can ask, does student success flow from individual accomplishment? We can also ask, does student success flow because of support from so many others? Each of us may have a different answer. But together, we can see that our students are fortunate. Yes, we answer they have reached our campus through the power of their own intellect and their own persistence. And yes, we answer they have also reached our campus with help from many throughout their lives. It may have been parents, siblings, counselors, teachers, friends, or other types of help from the assistance that government provides. I mentioned government support, which brings us to the second reason we want enrollment to increase. It is the reality of today that resources matter. We have ambitious plans through the Gallaudet Strategic Plan, the Clare Center Strategic Plan, and the Gallaudet Master Plan. We have ambitious plans for academic programs. We have ambitious plans associated with our community. And we have ambitious plans for our Washington, D.C. campus. 
Increased enrollment means greater availability of resources because it increases revenue through items like tuition and room and board. Enrollment and resources are connected. Many of you serve on the University Planning and Budgeting Committee, which we refer to as the UPBC. That group, with its university-wide representation, prepares a budget for each coming year. Part of those projections are future enrollment numbers. Those on the UPBC know increases in new students and greater persistence of existing students helps produce the resources we need to accomplish the hopes of our plans. Additionally, what story do we want to tell our funders in the federal government? Fortunately, in the last several years, our enrollment numbers, after decreasing, have begun to increase. We await the final numbers for this fall, which will be available shortly. As many of you know, our federal funding has been level, with just a slight decline in recent years. No one knows what will happen to federal funding in the coming years. In Washington, D.C., we watch Congress which is only one metro stop away as they work to resolve federal funding issues. It is a disconcerting discussion for all of us because we do not know the future of our federal funding. Will funding rise, remain level, or decrease? We have and will continue to work extremely hard to have a positive effect on our federal funding. In the last few years, we have conducted over 100 meetings on the Hill with those who are involved with our appropriations. We do not know our funding future. But we have been aggressive regarding resources. In 2010 and 2011, we executed a total of 30 separate significant steps related to resource efficiency. These were steps to raise revenue, to increase donations, and to use our revenue more efficiently. Each of these steps is reported in our annual report of achievements for fiscal year 2011. And what of student numbers? Will they rise, remain level, or decrease? We must work extremely hard to raise enrollment numbers. We want to be able to communicate to those in the executive branch and the legislative branch that we are serving more students. Our Gallaudet Strategic Plan, the GSP, which was so wisely approved by our Board of Trustees, recognizes the importance of enrollment. Enrollment is the first of five high-level goals. As you know, the first goal steers us to a very large number of students by 2015. Some of you have said we should consider it as an aspirational goal. but we must not dismiss desired enrollment increases 
just because they are difficult. For all of us, enrollment must remain a central goal. We need to reconsider the positioning of enrollment within our thinking about our GSP. Enrollment must become the focus of our future. The rearrangement is not just a repositioning of words and boxes on a slide. We ask that our faculty senate take the leadership within the, with the administration and others to make enrollment and retention topics of discussion and action. We ask our staff council to do the same. Consider every interaction you have with students as being critical to making them feel comfortable and at home at Gallaudet. What a difference your welcoming attitude, your attention to a student, and even your smile can make in how a student feels about Gallaudet. Enrollment will become a major area of action at the cabinet level. We have already discussed the implications of making enrollment our top priority. As one example, consider Gallaudet Technology Services. As part of their responsibilities, they work on a series of computer projects for all of us. We are asking them to reorder the priority of those projects to ensure that enrollment related projects receive the highest priority. As a cabinet, we pledge that for the activities each of us controls, we will similarly make enrollment the highest of priorities. We will also include the three new deans and the dean of student affairs in cabinet meetings. We do so because we realize the criticality of academics and student affairs to our enrollment activity. We want our administration to be closer to our students and our academics. We will shift the center of gravity away from administrative issues to academics. And academics are our first and most prominent message to potential new students. Today, we also ask the student body government and the Graduate Student Association to face our enrollment issues directly. We ask that you discuss enrollment and retention at your meetings and that you take actions to benefit enrollment and retention. We will regularly use our university council to discuss enrollment issues and hopefully inspire our leaders to take enrollment messages back to their constituencies. And finally, we ask all faculty, all students, and all staff, yes, we ask all of you to make increased enrollment the highest of priorities. There is not one thing that we can ask you to do to affect enrollment. Again, we see the ambiguity of our languages. Instead, there are many things we can ask of you. 
We are asking you to make enrollment of new students a priority. We are asking you to make retention of existing students a priority. And we are asking you to all work together on this critical area for our future. As I come to the end of my address for today, let me return to the beginning of my talk in several ways. My second first impression with all of you is that enrollment matters. Gallaudet transforms students' lives and that we have a fundamental belief in Gallaudet. As I close today, I want us all to view again the short video that opened our presentation today. Admire with me the marvelous talent of our new students that enrollment and marketing have brought to us. In the video, you will see many comments about majors emphasizing how critical our academics are. You'll see readiness, energy, and excitement. And you'll see the wonderful diversity of individuals who have chosen to join us. Let us ponder our future enrollment together. When the video is done, please join me outside where there'll be lunch waiting. Thank you. And now let us view the video. I love her great.